Hey, shalom, everybody. Um, I feel a very strong urge to um, record a message. I feel uh, something in the spirit of uh, the Leviathan, spirit the crown of pride, woe to area, woe to the crown of pride. Um, pride comes before destruction. Hebrew Israelite men, you guys are terrible. You're not good shepherds. Um, only his sheep knows his voice. And that is not the voice of my father. My father don't yell and scream at me, telling me to uh, cover my head up. That's not what Jesus Christ told me. Now, just so happens, got you know, I'm a Proverbs 31 woman, so make no mistake about it. So you could go to my pre, my pre my older videos, because I told God I didn't want no fame or fortune. I just wanted to do his will. And I'm asking you today, are you doing the will of the Father? You see, because about two years ago, I made this for myself. Because God chastens who he loves, and I was thanking God after my Job phase that he chastened me. Okay? And there's no coincidence that the other day I found this. And it looked, and I said, and the plumb line prophecy came to me. So you can never tell a woman of God, a child of God, who they are. You can never do that. Please. Please. Relax. Chill. Make your way straight before the Lord. Are you doing, do you love God with all your heart, might, and soul? Do you seek ye first the kingdom of God? Acknowledge him and his righteousness so that he may direct and enlighten your path. And do you love thy neighbor as thyself? Who is thy neighbor? Who is your brother? Who is your sister? Whosoever is willing to do the will of the Father is your brother, is your mother, is your sister, is your neighbor. Love. Love, grace, mercy, kindness, fruits of the Spirit are kind. They're meek. They're humble. Slow to anger. Slow. So this is how the sheep know the voice. Because that's how God speaks to his sheep. That's how Jesus, the Messiah, that still quiet voice. And then you feel Nehemiah 810. And that's why my cheeks is smiling. Because I'm smiling on the inside. Behold. This is the fruit. This is good fruit from a good tree. Good soil. Your heart. You need a new heart. You need a heart of flesh. God said, make this heavy. Press upon this on these people. Because they know not what they do. You don't know what you're doing. If you don't, please hearken to this message. Please open your spiritual eyes. Please remove yourself from the wolf pack gang and go in the bathroom because your pride and your ego, see, y'all feel like y'all can't let each other down because now y'all are conglomerated, right? So loyalty over everything, right? No, no, that's not how that works. You must be set apart to hear the voice of the Lord. And either it's going to be a just, or it's going to be a shout. I saw a shout. I had a shout. So I know a shout. I had a shout or two in my life. Because I'll be 48 April. April the 5th, baby. Diamonds are formed under pressure. Okay? And it's not about me. It's about the Messiah is on the way. But his kingdom is reigning on earth. So, and stop being dogmatic about the, the gospel, the Bible. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not you dishonoring. You don't give reverence to, to God. See, you have to read everything, and it has to be contextual. It has to be factual, and it has to be the scripture. You have to put it into context. Yes, God is a spirit. It's a living spirit. A third of the Bible is prophecy. God is a living spirit by the Holy Spirit. You must be baptized in the spirit to see the spirit, to hear the spirit, to know the spirit, right? Right? 